Welcome to the homework for lesson 10. This is grade two, module three. Write your name here. And our question is, just we just have one page of one puzzle to do. And it should be a familiar one if you did this lesson in class recently. Jerry wonders, how many $10 bills are equal to a $1,000 bill? Think about the strategies your friends used to answer Jerry's question. Answer the problem again using a different strategy than the one you used with your partner and for the exit ticket. Explain your solution using words, pictures, or numbers. Remember to write your answer as a statement. So you're going to do a lot of work, and at the end you may forget to actually write down the statement that says what your answer is. And just to remind you, I'm going to go back they're talking about the exit ticket and the work you did with your partner. And I just want to go back and show the pages that we did. This was the exit ticket. It was the same question. Jerry wonders how many $10 bills are equal to a $1,000 bill. And we're just trying to find different ways to explain the difference. And that was our problem set. We did that with a, as a partner. So the the whole lesson is this same question, what's one way to do it? And you worked with a partner doing that in the problem set, maybe. And then if you did the exit ticket, the same question again. And then now, now that you're home by yourself, can you remember how to do it? Or do you remember, can you think of a different way to do it? Now, I'm just going to show a few different strategies that you can use to work to do this. I'm not going to do in detail every single one because it would just take too long. But here's if you used number bonds, you may not have used that strategy. Some people draw money, and you can also do it with a tape diagram. That's probably the it's and there's other ways to do it too. You can do it all in expanded form. But let's see, I'll show you what kind of what it would look like in, in a number bond. You'd have, actually, you're going to need the whole page to do this if it's a number bond. So you, you would need, if you're going to do the number bond method, you're going to have, you can do it like this, where you have the thousand. I just broke my rule of writing the comma writing the comma first before writing the digits so I'm going to do that over again write the digits first and then do the comma there's your thousand now a thousand we figured out that was ten hundreds right and you're going to need ten hundreds One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and now we we don't have any tens here yet, do we? Because the whole thing is how many ten ten dollar bills are equal. So this is a thousand, and we can get all the dollar signs in here because this is money. And now the idea is that each of one of these hundreds, this is where, it, where you really need to start, use the whole page for this in a much bigger number bond. But you're going to have to get somehow fit in 10 tens around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and you could do this for all of the hundreds, and then count all the tens, and you would have a hundred tens. And that's why, if you're going to do this, if you're going to use that number bond method, really, it should look. You should have 
like the thousand right in the middle and then where you can really give yourself room for all the hundreds right and really spread it out so that way you'll have right room to draw all those hundreds if you're gonna draw the money if you're gonna draw the money then you're gonna have If you're going to draw the money, then you're going to draw You're going to start drawing tens and you could draw a hundred ten dollar bills That's going to take a ridiculous amount of time and you don't have to do that much work really Because you can do the, this When you draw the tens Okay, so draw, draw all those tens. So there's ten tens, right? And that's, and you can label this one hundred dollars. And then you can do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then you have to like each one of these you write. Right. Above each each of the hundreds, you do that for all of them. And don't just write these lines like I'm writing them, but you because I ran out of room because I'm trying to do all this in a kind of a small space so you can see it on one screen. But your piece of paper is bigger than this, so it'd be 10 tens there, and this would be I ran out of room there. You only have to do one of these methods, but for this one here, you have to have the picture of the money to show the ten dollar bills for each hundred. And then you're labeling all the hundreds when you add them together. Right, and if you've done all that, <clears throat> and you can also just do one big, um, you can do a similar thing to this number sentence using expanded form. And then you just count the tens. 10 tens, 20 tens, 30 tens, 40 tens, 50 tens, 60 tens, 70 tens, 80 tens, 90 tens, that's 100 tens. This equals a thousand or 100 tens and that would be your evidence. And then don't forget your statement, however you do it. If you do it with a number bond picture, or you do you draw all the money, or you do uh, an equation like this, however you do it, you need a statement that says, there are, well, let's see, instead of there are, let's say, Right, because the question is, uh, how many ten dollar bills are equal to a thousand dollar bill, and it's one hundred ten dollar bills are equal to one thousand. I did it again. <laughs> to one thousand dollar 
Oh, I just wrote over that. You can't see the one. It looks like a zero dollar bill. To one. Thousand dollar bill. 